Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about some stocks, some DoorDash, some why is DoorDash not making any money during like the pandemic when they probably should be. That's something we're talking about today. So Jim Kanos, who's basically a legendary short seller, it's kind of like Warren Buffett, but probably a lot less popular to put it in blatant terms. Um, basically came out and said, he took a position against DoorDash saying, if a company isn't making money during its most profitable time, which is the pandemic, which makes a lot of sense. It'd be like if my footwear company wasn't making any profit during Christmas season. Like I can only imagine if we weren't making money during Christmas season, I would probably say, yeah, I'll probably give up on this footwear company, you know? And DoorDash isn't really making money. It's almost like they're just, it's almost like they're thinking too far ahead, you know? They're trying to buy all these companies. They're trying to become this big monopoly, yet they're not making any money. And when you don't have any like extra, you know, like it's really hard to operate a business where you don't have cash just sitting aside, you know? And the, it seems like they aren't making really any money. It seems like they're still investing into themselves. And in my opinion, it's a very valid point what this guy is saying. Basically, he's saying like, how can we bet on a company that isn't making money during the pandemic when the company, like yesterday, I just made a video on why DoorDash is basically celebrating because of the new Omicron variant, which means basically there's gonna be possible more lockdowns. And after reading that article, I'm like, maybe DoorDash needs the Omicron variant because they're not making any money right now. I mean, I think we've all seen the amount of orders like are very slacking. There's much less orders, I would say. I think everyone can agree. There's a lot less orders than there was in 2020. Maybe there's more, maybe there's less, I don't know. But it appears even though DoorDash basically is in the absolute prime season, like this is, if the, if they were like a an athlete, like a, a pro athlete, this is like their 28 to 32 when their body is in their prime, you know? This is when, of all times, the company should be making significant profits and we should be hearing about all these crazy profits they're making. But unfortunately, we're not. We're actually hearing about how they're still not profitable and it kind of, it's almost like all three of those companies, DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats are all essentially tearing each other down because they're trying to keep each other's like prices so low that essentially no one can make money, you know? Like, I feel like just coming together as the industry, maybe they should just all agree like, okay, maybe let's charge a little bit more for orders. That way, everyone can, like, especially with inflation now, like, you know, they should really all increase their profit or their, uh, what they're charging customers. In my opinion, the fact that we even see free delivery still is like, what the, f where's this money coming from, you know? Or how how is it getting paid for? But I just thought this article was very interesting because this guy's predicted many falls of companies and he's short squeezed a lot of companies, basically betting that the company is going to fail. And that's what he's saying about DoorDash right now. So, I don't know, I kind of believe it. Anyways, I'll be right back. We're gonna do a daily dash today. As soon as we get an order, I will restart this vlog because I gotta clean this lens, it's so dirty. Okay, clean lens, but let me just finish what this guy said. Basically, this quote, which really stood out to me, said, and is kind of what I just said. He said, if you're not making a lot of money and the capital market turns a lot less friendly, Valuations get destroyed for money losing companies when capital is not available. Meaning if you don't have a savings account and your company isn't profitable and essentially it's running off of investors right now. Like people are still funneling money into this company and eventually if the market turns like they're going to be like, okay, hold on a second. How much, why are we putting money into this company that's still not profitable years later? and they just went through their prime of the pandemic when they should be essentially making all of the money, you know? Like there's a difference between when Amazon was consistently just reinvesting into itself, not paying taxes, all that, blah, blah, blah. But Amazon still was making good, 
profit though, you know? They just decided to invest more money. DoorDash hasn't really ever turned a profit, it seems, apparently, but I don't know. Who knows what's actually going on with all this. Did Tony Zhu initiate or start the Omicron virus, virus just to get more money? That's the question. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's my... I'm just, I'm just playing, Tony. I know you watch my videos. Probably not. Probably not. Tony Zhu's the, the CEO of DoorDash, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just saying, maybe he started the Omicron variant that way they could go through another pandemic season and make more money. I'm just making shit up. Alright, I'll be right back when we get in order. Bam! Alright, just picked up the order. It was literally in the same parking lot as my gym. Like, the gym is literally like... It's this building right here. Anyways, so... Quick one mile, five dollars seventy four cent. Who knows? There could be a post tip on this one. It's only it's basically five dollars a mile, so five dollars a mile sounds pretty good. I will take five bucks to drive one mile. Maybe it's more. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? I'm no uh, psychic. Anyways, so we're gonna drop off this order real quick. But yeah, I don't know. This whole. This whole article makes me really think that uh, DoorDash is about to take it. Like, if, let's just say, if the world shuts down again, which, please, I don't even want to put that in the air because I really hope it doesn't happen. But, if it does happen again, and DoorDash doesn't start making a pr crazy amount of profit, then, then I predict the failure like the the like they are going down they are definitely going to uh not be a company anymore i bet you they would lose so much so much money in their investors if they're not making profit on like the like this is like their last chance you know like right now the doordash stock is going crazy because everyone thinks that the world's going to shut down again because of the new omicron virus hey i just saw the uh i just saw this post on facebook check this out if you take the last two virants, variants and you take Delta and Omicron and you unscramble the whole thing, you can come up with media control. And that's, in my opinion, what it is. It's just a bunch of freaking media outlets who are trying to keep everyone scared, but it is what it is. People are scared. I'm not scared. But... Not everyone is me, so. Anyways, all right, be right back after we drop off this order. I'm trying to buy a house right now, and my real estate agent is sending me some stuff. All right, just dropped off the order. There was no post tip, unfortunately. Only $5.74 for one mile, whatever. It was super convenient, right down the street from where I was. It's what uh, doing DoorDash is all about, is making it as convenient as possible so you're not putting on excess miles to your car because no one wants dead miles, especially my car, which is now a grandpa. It is 1,000, or 100,000, 102,503 miles. Jeez, so many miles, so many miles, and it doesn't help that I keep driving across the country. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to, I, I, I kind of want to buy like a new car, like a cheap one, just so I can put miles on that thing and not this expensive car, but I don't know. I don't know what, I'm trying to weigh out my option. Whoa, we almost lost the camera there. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap up today's video. Oh, look, $5, look, even though, I'm not going to take it. It's $5.50 for 5.2 miles. It's still a dollar a mile, but I know that it's delivering to the freaking, uh, uh, what do you call it? Resorts on Las Vegas, South Las Vegas Boulevard, and they're kind of a hassle to deliver to. You got to get out of the car and go all the way up there. But it was perfectly convenient on the direction that I'm already going, which is to my house. But anyway, so we're gonna wrap up today's video. Let me know what you guys think about the DoorDash stock. Uh, do you guys own DoorDash stock? Let me know in the comments down below. I do not own DoorDash stock. I actually don't really own any stock. I own a little bit. Tesla and Apple, but not really enough to like brag about it or anything. 
Anyways, so we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoy these videos, subscribe and also smash the like button. Helps me get uh, higher up in the algorithm. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.